It's the next morning now, we're just in a rush to get down to breakfast. We've got about 25 minutes until the cab picks us up um, to take us kayaking, clear kayaking. Can't remember where, Carlisle Bay, where we were yesterday, but we've got to go, so I'm in a rush. Every time I pick up the camera, I'm a hot and sweaty mess. <laughs> it's a couple of days since I picked up the camera now, I think. Um, we went to Harbour Lights, the Harbour Lights dinner show. Do you know what? I don't even know if you can hear me because we're walking down that trafficy road again. So yeah, we went to Harbour Lights uh, dinner and show the other night and it was really, really good. It was really nice to see everyone enjoying themselves. Um, the entertainment around the a uh, hotel has been pretty non-existent and we think it's because things are just picking up since Covid like there's not much going on the last few nights there's been some music and there's been like a guy singing and stuff but just not kind of what you'd expect but obviously it's like things are just picking up since Covid anyway we went with lots of people from our resort to be honest half the coach was filled with people from our resort and we sat with the couple and their little girl she's about three um, that told us about it and we met around the pool and he's also the guy who had trouble with getting his band off at the beginning um, and we had a really really nice night and I'd really recommend it if you're here sorry we just had to walk past a couple of people so I stopped filming and yeah it was really good fun we had a great time and it was nice to sit and get to know the people we met around the pool uh, that was really nice we also recommended it to uh, the couple we were on the island tour with and we bumped into them when they were there so they took the recommendation as well and it looked like they were having a good time i had a little dance at the end i think chap caught it on video um but it was just really good so i would recommend going there it was nice to see everyone having a little dance and then last night we went to st lawrence st lawrence gaff yeah. Gaff, Gaff something else. Oh, <laughs> I, thought, I thought we said St. Lawrence Gap. G-A-P. Okay, St. So St. Lawrence Gap, which is like a strip of restaurants, um, kind of like what you usually see in Greece or, or places like that, not so much in the Caribbean, and it was really, really nice. There were loads of bars and restaurants. We Those went <laughs> We went to the cocktail kitchen. We sat on the terrace. I didn't have any cocktails, everyone knows I don't drink. Jack had my cocktail, it was two for one. I had a nice sparkling water, I really enjoyed myself. And then we went for dinner at Mimosas, which was so like Instagrammable. It had like all pink and blue chairs and it was really, really pretty and had lights and everything and that was right on, on the sea. I definitely recommend going there as well. 
we keep getting beeped as we're walking across this road and they all seem to beep at everyone and we don't know what it means. We think it means hello, but we're not quite sure what they're just beeping at us for the sake of it. But um, yeah, definitely recommend going there. It's kind of like, you know, when you don't go to an all-inclusive and you go to half board or self-catering and you go to restaurants for lunch and dinner instead. Definitely, if it wasn't COVID times, I think we would consider staying somewhere close to that because that was probably only a 10 minute drive from us. Um, but yeah, lots of lovely restaurants there. I only went in the one, but we looked at all the menus. And to be honest, it was quite reasonable. At first we thought it'd be quite expensive, but you have to calculate what it is in English. It's about £35 for dinner with starters. Yeah, for one starter between the two of us and we had a dinner each. We didn't have dessert while we were there. And three drinks, it cost about the equivalent of £35. And every cup we've got in here, everyone talks about how expensive Barbados is. But I don't think, what are they comparing it to? Because if you compare it to America, I don't think it's, oh my God, it's so loud. I don't think it's very expensive at all. But anyway, we had a lovely time. And if we were to ever come back, we'd definitely go back to St. Lawrence. Gap, not Gaff. We're currently walking back along the road we were walking down a couple of days ago because we're, it's about lunchtime. It's not lunchtime, it's about two o'clock in the afternoon. Linus. It's, it's, it's Lina. Lunch, dinner. We've already had lunch, but we're heading down to Oystins early. Because Oyst it's actually Friday and the whole street party at Oystins happens on Fridays. But we've heard a bit of feedback from a few people that everyone who has gone has been a little disappointed. It's not quite the atmosphere because of Covid, like the atmosphere that it was pre-Covid. So yeah, we're walking down to Oysters now, which is only a 10 minute walk from our hotel. And we're also going to grab some cash at the cash point we went to the other day because we've got off-roading booked for tomorrow. And we just WhatsApp the guy. You, you can't book that one online, so we've got to pay in cash. I think we're, we've we got some cash left. We just want to get a little bit more. We've only got the rest of today, tomorrow, and then Sunday evening we leave. I don't know what time our private transfer is picking us up. We probably have to check, but um, yeah, got a couple of days left. Um, so yeah, just gonna walk down to Oystings, not in like the hype of it, because apparently the hype of it doesn't really exist right now. And also it's a bit difficult with COVID, isn't it? You can't really do a street party during COVID time. So we're just gonna have a little nosy. And also because everyone said it's quite disappointing at the moment, didn't really want to get all dressed up tonight for it to be a bit rubbish. Also, I know my bikini under this doesn't match my outfit, but it's the end of the holiday. <laughs> I'm at that point where none of my cover-ups match my bikinis, but we're over it. I'm gonna stop filming now. There's like a big load of traffic in front of me. We think Oystins is this way. To be honest, we're not quite sure. Looks pretty though. These are all the boats. Um, if you're wondering how Oystins went, we wouldn't know, but we did find a chef at <laughs> and got some more ice cream. Um, we got to Oystins and it was pretty much just like raw fish, a raw fish market. We asked someone and there was like some chairs further down for I guess if they cooked it, but to be honest, it wasn't very clear what it was or where it was. And the people seemed a bit weird. Like they were just trying to force us to buy raw fish and we didn't really know, know what was going on. We thought you go there and have eat cooked fish, which I think is the deal. Maybe everyone told us it's open all day, but maybe it's just later in the evening. Either way, we're not too fast. We saw it from the other side of the road. Well, we walked into what we think was it, but I don't know, it was just a bit weird. There was no big sign what we thought there would be saying like Oystins fish market or anything. Either way, there was a chef out on the other side of the road where we got ice cream the other day when we were in Bridgetown. We're currently walking back to our hotel. It is so, so hot. It is like the heat of the day at the moment. We're gonna go back and jump in the pool and probably stay there until five-ish and then head back to the room. We've got no major plans for the rest of the holiday apart from tomorrow, the off-roading but we've gone into complete relax mode. We're both so, so tired because we're in holiday mode. So even though we've not done loads, oh God, this road is so noisy. Even though we've not done loads in the last couple of days, we're so exhausted because our bodies are on shutdown. <laughs> but it's really nice. But we miss Tilly so, so much. Ah, oh, some shade. Yeah, we can't wait to get back to Tilly. I don't know if I said, but she's staying with my mum, dad and brother and they are so besotted with her. Obviously, they see her every weekend anyway, and I pretty much stay at home every weekend anyway, but they've had her for the last, it would have been 12 nights by the time we're home, 
and they said they do not want to give her back. So I'm going to steal, steal her off of them and take her home and give her endless cuddles because as much as we love going on holiday, this is the longest we have been away from her. And also the first time we've been away from her in 18, 19 months. So it's been tough. I miss her in the mornings and the evenings and just cuddling her in bed. So I literally can't wait to get back and have her back and have my baby back. But it's so funny that they don't want to give her back. I knew that would happen. She's just like a little human. No one understands until they look after her. But she is our little human baby. She's not a dog. End of. I've said it. <laughs> She's a little human in a little doggy body. We're back. We're just about to leave to go on our final excursion. It's Saturday now, so we leave tomorrow evening and we're going off-roading. Don't know if wearing a white top was the best idea, but it's old, it doesn't matter. Honestly, don't really know what to expect, and to be honest, I'm hoping Jack can drive. Oh, driving licenses. Oh, driving licenses. Okay, we need to check we've got those, but I'm happy to sit and let Jack drive. I think he's gonna be quite dangerous and that way I can just hold on for my life. But we're about to leave in a minute. We need to grab breakfast on the way down and then, who's picking us up? Just the cab. Yeah, yeah. No, Have the, you booked the, it? Yeah, the people that we're doing it with. Oh, the people from the excursion. Oh, excursion are picking us up. So that's very useful. Right, I need to find driving licenses. We're back from off-roading now. I look a bit worse for wear. I need to sort my hair out. We had a bit of a water fight. They really think of everything here. I'm so impressed. They surprised us with water guns when we had a little break and obviously gave us drinks and stuff. So it was really well planned. We both really enjoyed it. It was probably one of our favorite days, one of our favorite things we've done. But now we're back. We need to grab some lunch and we're just gonna jump in the pool and cool off. But the water guns were very, a very, very good idea. I picked up the camera to say something. Oh, Oyston's yesterday, when we went to Oyston's and we thought it looked all shut and a bit confusing, it's because they had a COVID case, I think yesterday morning or the day before, and they've had to shut for the next five days and clean everything, so that's why it was a bit of a ghost town and a bit strange when we went there and obviously we couldn't get any food, but that's fine. It wasn't us just being stupid. It was actually closed for a reason. But anyway, going to spend the rest of the day by the pool and then tonight I need to think about packing, which is rubbish. Oh, and also doing our passenger locator forms and getting reception to print off our certificates. I need to have a think about that, but yeah, I need to sort myself out a bit. Sorry if you can hear the shower. Jack's currently showering because we're about to go out for dinner. I thought I'd show you my final outfit of the holiday, although I don't look very tanned in this mirror. The lighting in this room isn't very good. I tried to film over there, but it was too dark. Uh, this is my final outfit of the holiday. It is a bodycon. Oh, you can see my knickers through it. Oh, I might have to change those. So much for no visible panty line. You can still see like the top part of it. I'll sort that in a minute. Anyway, I think this is from, it'll be a pretty little thing on misguided like everything else, but it's just a little bodycon dress and it ties up. It's actually super long, but you tie it to lift it up. I think I've only shown like three or four outfits and every time I pick up the camera, it's my least fa favorite outfits of the holiday. I had a, a couple of nights ago, I had a red outfit on that I really liked when we went to Harbour Lights and a green outfit when we went to St. Lawrence Gap and I didn't vlog them but you know what I'll wear them on another holiday and show them then because they've literally been warm for a couple of hours. We're about to head out to dinner down here is we've started packing Um I need to finish packing a bit later and then pack a bit tomorrow as well. I really wish we could just teleport home and not have to get on the plane I hate it I think it's just 
such a big nightmare, big palaver, and apparently he throws really, really bad right now and really hectic because of all the forms you have to show. I think we're pretty prepared. We've had our tests. We've done our passenger locator forms. I don't know why I look so strange in this lighting. Um, we just need to go to reception and pick up the printouts. We need to check the time we're getting picked up tomorrow. I said I was going to do that earlier. We still haven't done it. But yeah, apparently he throws a bit of a mare. I think we're arriving into... Oh, Jet's out of the shower. I think we're arriving into Terminal 3 and apparently it's Terminal 5 that's quite bad. So, shush, stop singing. <laughs> Jack literally is so noisy in the shower. I keep having to tell him to shut up. But yeah, we're pretty prepared. I just want to get home. I'm like in that mood now that I just want to go and get Tilly and hug Tilly. To be honest, she probably hasn't even realised we're gone. She loves staying with mum and dad. I think she thinks mum is her my mum her nan she calls we call them nanny and granddad boy so strange i think she thinks mum is her second mum so she doesn't really realize when we're not there because she's literally living her best life she sleeps on the end of their bed she has her little routine because i'm i stay back there most weekends pretty much every weekend to be honest so it's like second nature to her and also during lockdown last year we were there like for months and months so she knows no different it's like she loves it there so i think when i get back she's going to be super confused but really excited and i just can't wait but i just hate this whole palaver of packing up we also need to talk to reception and extend what's it called late checkout and um, get late checkout for this room because obviously you're meant to check out at 11 a.m but our flight's not till 6 15 or something in the evening <laughs> go and walk past I need to dry my hair so you have to go that way. all right we're going to try and get on the jet skis again tomorrow and spend the rest of our Barbados dollars while we've got them because it's quite hard to, to exchange back from Barbados to normal dollars. So we're going to see if we can go on the jet skis again tomorrow, um, but then just have a chilled day on the beach. And then hopefully if we get extended checkout, we can just shower back in this room and finish our cases and stuff. But if not, there's like shower rooms downstairs and we'll use those. But not a big deal but yeah in that mood i just want to get home go and see tilly um this holiday feels like it's been a lot longer than 10 days but it's been super nice and to be honest those three days at the beginning where we were in quarantine feel like forever ago at the moment <laughs> like it feels like a whole lifetime ago so we were quite annoyed at the beginning but it hasn't ruined the whole holiday because we had an extra seven days after that and we've done everything we wanted to do um, and we've actually been so thrilled with everything we've booked. Nothing has been disappointing. Everything has exceeded our expectations. So yeah, very, very pleased. Now we've just got the long trip home and then I get to see my fur baby and I'm so excited. <laughs> Yeah. 